a message for our grade sixes. Well, what can I say? We're so proud of you. You've all done a wonderful job in elementary school and you will do a wonderful job at the poly as well. I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. We've been so lucky here at Balance School to watch you grow and develop all the way from pre-K to grade six in many cases. Some of you joined us later on and it was a pleasure getting to know you as well. I'd like to take a few minutes right now to share a few things that might become important for you moving forward. First, give yourself permission to try new things and to make mistakes. Secondly, look at yourself where you are today, where you are right now, and make yourself even better, more knowledgeable, more diligent, more principled. We can always become a better person. Remember a little bit of this list. Be genuine, be kind, be diligent, be thoughtful, be a critical thinker. The world will experience challenges in the future, much like we did this year. And we will need you as strong and resilient adults to help guide us through it. Um, as you move forward into the poly, take care of one another. Welcome new friends into your group and take care of them too. We will miss you, graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. Now for kindergarten students, your journey with us is just beginning. We will have so many more uh, adventures together. We will challenge you in your learning, in your desire to take risks, to try new things, to meet new people and to reach new goals. This year you learned how to Zoom and use technology in a whole new way for learning. And you succeeded and we're so proud of you for that. We're excited to welcome you back to Balance School in August and to continue our journey together. Have a great summer. Bye. Bonjour les amis. I just want to say congratulations to all of you for the wonderful year we spent together. You did good. You've learned, you've made mistakes, you succeed, you've improved yourself, you've grown up. So I'm gonna miss you all. Okay, Trinity, you're such a great helper. Nathan, so curious and caring. Anna, I'm gonna miss your kinderness and lend them your sense of humor. So congratulations again to all of you. You can be proud of yourself. Kindergarten is over, but I can already tell that I truly believe that we're all ready for grade one next year. So have a wonderful summer. I will miss you and I love you.
I just wanted to come on and say congratulations to the kindergarten kids. You guys did it. You made it through kindergarten and pre-K and now you get to take the big step forward and come into my room. Now things are gonna be different next year, but we're still gonna have lots of fun and I know you are ready for it. You are smart and you are big and you are ready for any challenge. So I am so excited to have you all in the fall with me. Bye. Congratulations, kindergarten. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck in grade one, and I hope you all have a great summer, and we will see you in the fall. Thank you, Alyssa, for always being there for us. We will miss you for how awesome of a Kahoot player you were. Hi everyone, I'd like to begin by stating that even though our year ended differently this year, uh, we still have many fond memories throughout the years together, which I'm so grateful for. I'd like to begin by uh, saying a happy graduation to um, kindergarten class, which is Nathan and Landon, Hannah and Trinity. Congratulations guys! I wish you all the best of luck in grade one and I look very forward to seeing you guys in grade one next year and being with you guys and I wish you a wonderful summer. Now I'd like to take the time to wish uh, congratulations to the graduating class of grade six which is Oliver, Rylan, Madison, Alyssa and Robin. I was very fortunate in working very closely with you guys this year and have very fond memories of working with you guys throughout the three years I was in Balan. I even got to work with you guys individually on Zoom, which I really enjoyed. I wish you guys all the best of luck in your future adventures at the Poly. And I wish you nothing but the best. Take care. Congratulations. Bye for now. Madison, thank you for always making us laugh. We will miss you for all your good comments and how great you were at debates.
Hi everyone, I just wanted to say congratulations to our graduates. Stay safe and have a great summer. Bye. Rylan, thank you for thank you for always having our backs and teaching us new moves in soccer. Have a great time at the poly. Hello, just a quick message to say congratulations to the grade sixes. So proud of you guys. You've had a wild year and you deserve to enjoy every minute of your summer this year. You might have missed out on some fun things, but you were not forgotten. That's for sure. You were thought of a lot. So proud of you. So grateful for having you in our school the last six, seven, eight, some of you years. And um, good luck to, to all of you going into the poly and beyond. And don't forget about us. Don't forget to come back and visit when you're allowed. Robin, thank you for being a good friend to everyone. We will miss you for a great job. Congratulations, grade six. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all the best of luck in high school. We will certainly miss seeing all your faces at Blance. I hope you all have a great summer. Oliver, thank you for being, for being nice and kind. And thank you for making us want to be better chess players and by making us want to practice.
Graces, we're gonna miss you a lot. Good luck at the poly next year. Hi everyone, and hello to my grade sixes. I am absolutely honored to be able to speak to you today, even if this is somewhat of a special and different kind of graduation ceremony, in that you have been some of the students that I have gotten to know the absolute best in my time as a teacher. I have seen and gotten to know Alyssa, Rylan, and Robin since their very first day of pre-K all those years ago. I was their teacher through kindergarten and pre-K. I was their French teacher for grades one and two, and then they came and rejoined me in my homeroom for grades three, four, five, and six. So you do the quick math on that, and I've been their main teacher for six out of their eight years at Bellant School. As you can imagine, that forges a bond between the teacher and the student that almost no one in my profession ever gets to experience, in that it feels like I'm not just saying goodbye to students this year, but it's like I'm saying goodbye temporarily to family. I've gotten so close to them. And I can remember so fondly those early days in pre-K and kindergarten when Robin was too shy to even speak to me for the entire pre-k year and Rylan was a good enough friend to be her interpreter that she didn't feel comfortable enough talking straight to me but she was able to whisper in his ear and have him say everything that she wanted to say and Alyssa well Alyssa never quite had a hard time with talking she could talk for hours and hours and hours back then circle time in the morning when it was like, okay, who wants to say something? I'd pretty much have to cut her off at some point or she could just take over the class for the whole rest of the morning. <laughs> and the other two came on much later in uh, Madison and Oliver, but they've earned their place in my heart just as much. Madison, with whom I can talk about Marvel movies forever and who may even know more about them than I do, and Oliver, who played such a big part in helping get my school chess club off the ground, where he was our first chess superstar that everyone was afraid to have to face him because he's the one that nobody could beat. But he helped teach them the game and get better and better to the point where, before things cut off as they did, our chess club this year was one of the best groups that I've ever had, where everyone was really sportsmanlike and really trying hard and helping each other and it was all in large part due to Oliver helping to teach them and get things started. And there's just been so many memories with them all over the years. Thinking back again to the three that I've had since pre-k, I remember in kindergarten one particular thing was that when it was after our like main lesson of the morning they'd done like their harder work and their focused more serious stuff it was time for playtime and I'd set them free to go and play with whatever they wanted and unlike other groups that would go running for the blocks or the trucks or the other toys they came running to me that what the three of them wanted more than anything was for me to draw them a picture of a kitten or some other little thing and then I would make them each a copy and they would go and quietly sit down and color their pictures that I had drawn for them. That was our daily routine, day after day after day. It was draw me a picture, Mr. Mark, draw me a picture, Mr. Mark. And I just loved it, that even when they had the freedom to go and do anything, I was the first thing on their minds and that they loved my drawings that much. And that helped me to challenge myself and get better and better as an artist because at the beginning it wasn't even quite my thing but since they wanted me to draw so much I just drew every day and that's kind of along the lines of what's happened over the years is that just as I've been helping them as a teacher to become better and better students they've helped push me in so many different ways to become a better and better teacher. One particular moment this year was the fact that we needed to transition to online school and learning. And for me, it was very new and different. I started off by recording myself reading on YouTube. And then when we moved to Zoom, I needed to do in-person classes. And this was all a challenge. This was all new. But the fact that they, day in and day out, would log in right on time, ready to work, 
fully willing to try anything out, experiment. Sometimes there'd be glitches, sometimes things wouldn't be perfect, but they always wanted to take part. And that just encouraged me to try harder and harder and harder to make it as good and satisfying a lesson as I possibly could for them day in and day out because they were giving me their all, so I wanted them to give them my all as well. So all of that to say that they've been a group that has pushed me like no other, and I'm so proud to see what all of them have become today. I have no doubt that this is a group to watch out for in the future. They are going to be fantastic in high school and beyond. I can't see there being any limit to what they could achieve if they really set their minds to it. They're that hardworking, bright, kind, caring, and ambitious of a set of kids that I think the sky's the limit. So to all of you, I wish you the very best of luck next year at the Poly. Please keep in touch. Don't ever be shy about sending me messages or coming back to visit the school. I'm going to miss you all very deeply. And yep, yeah, have a great summer.